it is always tempting to take one basketball game and turn it into something more meaningful. One team blows another out and the victors are suddenly tagged as dangerous contenders while the losers are basically told they might as well all quit the NBA and start a knitting club. Or one team suffers a heartbreaking overtime loss and it either sends them spiraling or it galvanizes them. For example, James Harden beat the Warriors with that last second OT contested three weeks ago and uh, it woke up Golden State to such a degree they haven't dropped a game since. <laughs> of course, sometimes a game is just a game, one of 82, and we don't know for a while which category last night's Lakers Thunder game fits into. But boy, it sure felt like something. Russell Westbrook got the internet involved early when he brought his son Noah, who is about a year and a half old, onto the court with him before warm-ups. This video quickly went viral, which I mean, clearly, so cute. And um, once the game started, the Thunder seemed to be on just as much of a roll as young Noah, racking up a 17-point lead just 10 minutes in. The Lakers, meanwhile, a disaster. They turned the ball over like they were allergic to it. <laughs> and then we got this from Michael Beasley. Yes, that is Bees trying to check into the game in his practice shorts because of course he was. In CYO, they made him stay in the locker room. Oh boy, yeah. I mean, look, Luke Walton was frustrated enough after the whole affair. He went deep into his bench to start the second quarter and the move paid off big. The Lakers would outscore the Thunder 40 to 16 over the next 12 minutes, thanks in part to Vitsa Zubats channeling Shaq Practically. Well, the uniform was the same. I don't know, maybe. By the time we got to the end of regulation, it looked like LA was going to actually pull out the win. All the Lakers had to do was play smart in the game's final five seconds. They were up by three. Russ takes the ball down the court, and the bench here is yelling at Lonzo. Foul him, foul him, before he can get his arms up. And Lonzo tried, but when the whistle came, the ref's ruling was that Westbrook had been in the act of shooting. So Russ goes, to, yeah, Luke, not happy. <laughs> Russ goes to the line, and despite he's going through one of the worst shooting slumps of his career, actually nails all three foul shots. He was so and, and look at his face. Yep. He was mm -hmm. so relieved. <laughs> right? <Shoot laughs> Amazing. <his next> shots. <laughs> LeBron James, meanwhile, not on this road trip because of his groin injury, but he was upset enough. He took to Twitter asking the NBA's official refs account, so what really is the in the shooting motion rule? Asking for a friend. Now, now, this is where I will note that the league's officials announced recently they actually will be taking Twitter questions during high-profile games. Uh, unfortunately for LeBron, they're not going to start doing that until next week, so he got no response online. <laughs> he, he did, however, get a response from his young teammates. Despite being forced into <laughs> overtime on what could have felt like a deflating mistake, Lonzo in particular balled out, starting things off with this deep three and leading L.A. to the win, which is good. Not just for the Lakers, but for the league, because in a pool report after the game, the referees acknowledged that um, the whole sending Russ to the line thing, that was a mistake. <laughs> Ball had, in fact, fouled him before he was in the act of shooting. I, I can't even imagine the protest filed if the game had ended differently. But because the Lakers won, overcoming the bad call just became part of this whole wave of proclamations. This is where we get into all these. This was a turning point for the young Lakers core that has struggled so much without LeBron and see they're coming into their own. And we got all kinds of proclamations about the Thunder too, who have now lost five of their last six, who have seen their once league leading defense founder. We got proclamations about Paul George, who didn't even take a shot in the fourth quarter and struggled in overtime. And, and maybe all the grand statements will turn out to be true. O or maybe they're all overstatements and this will turn out to be just one of 82. The truth is, we just won't know for a little bit. <laughs> At least Michael Beasley doesn't have to take up knitting.